Hey guys, this is a beginning of the stylized environment series and we're gonna start with making the hand painted rock model. While modeling process here is super simple, we're gonna start with textures and I will share with you my simple concept that will help you to model this rock. A small advertisement before we start. Join our Discord art community with over 700 stylized artists. Share your art, talk with other same-minded artists, get feedbacks and over paints from me and our curators. And don't forget to check my full pipeline courses. Links in the description. Let's get started. And now we are in 3D code. I'm gonna make ambient occlusion. I'm gonna duplicate it and join with empty layer so now we have a standard blend layer with ambient occlusion to overpaint it and one layer with the bake it ambient but we are not going to use it now so now i'm choosing the lighter colors for our upper parts and starting some overpaints here so i'm painting lighter parts on upper part trying to do some clunky chunky details like a very rock like things and also it's okay to use a uh, sculpted maps like curvature or world no normal green for your base texture for overpaint like I did with ambient occlusion, but you can combine all the textures together and then just go and overpaint if you are struggling with some painting process. It will help you out. So yeah, now I'm going to do some darker things on the sides and figuring out some rock details while painting of course a little bit of the gradient so our faces are not super flat so I had this uh, on the side so I from lighter to darker and also some rock details for the rock details I want to make something um, very edgy and sharp oh yeah those rocks been inspired by league of legends art style so i'm going to do something pretty similar maybe a little bit simpler also increased the speed of this video by three times because this grayscale painting process takes uh, a long time to me. I'm painting mostly with the hard brush. While for the course we're gonna use uh, some softer brushes to um, and this grayscale thing is the most time consuming in this pipeline it's actually very similar to sculpting in zbrush so, but we're gonna paint all these uh, things by our hands maybe in future i'm gonna do some zbrush actions too and no worries if you can't follow my paintings pixel to pixel just make sure that uh, all the values are pretty similar or all the sides like I have like all this uh, lighter and darker details and maybe some small gradient things and yeah this will be very hard to like follow everything pixel to pixel all this uh, rock edgy details but I believe you can do something pretty similar and we're doing a lot of um, blending here if you're struggling with the blending you can try to um, decrease your opacity to like 80-70% and choose some semi-hard brush it can help 
or even try with the softer one but this will uh, destroy a little bit the hook of your chunky edgy rock details so I not don't I don't owe these um, soft brushes for details on that kind of objects and I'm not going to show you what happens on the back side this gonna be a small surprise so you can skip back side or make it how you like it because I'm not going to show it on the tutorial but on the final model uh, you can check it out there will be something very interesting <laughs> doing a lot of polishing here and there that's actually my new issue I'm gonna talk a little bit more about it later and um, I modeled this uh, crack on the stone because it's pretty huge and it's changing our silhouette if the cracks or other damage effects on your model affecting your silhouette that's a reason to make it with a mesh not just paint it or bake it so yeah I have a new issue regarding the time I spent on the texturing in past I was much faster and that's not because of the age haha <laughs> so the issue is the more skills you have the more details and polishing you can do and you want to do that <laughs> so yeah and it takes more time so it's a new struggling let me know in the comments if you have same issue also by painting constantly you always find new techniques and ways to do new stuff and paint some more interesting things and same applies to modeling, sculpting and other skills I believe I love adding this um, painted triangle balloon details very similar like um, we do in sculpting with trim dynamic or trim adaptive brushes in ZBrush and I don't want to go with super dark um, eye-catching detail so I'm gonna decrease this darker area on the front side on the face and adding more darker things on the sides and we are pretty close to finish all the first steps of the blending adding our main lighting information from like directional light and so on and later on we're also gonna paint uh, and go by illumination things some ambience and so on but this gonna be at the very end at first we're gonna get this uh, main light details like lighter darker some gradients and so on following with um, line arts highlights so yeah and already reading pretty well a little bit more this um, bevel things we can paint it all and don't be scared of from um, our old poly model because we gonna render everything on the unlit shader that not receiving any lights everything gonna be baked in 
I'm trying not to waft any undetailed superfluid texture surfaces. I'm trying to add details everywhere. I'm not really curious how it could look with the sculpting, baked sculpting things as a base for overpaint. That's something I want to do for our next tutorials. And the rocks always have these um, bevel things on the sides, on edges, because it's always clunks and destroys that way. Also, it's um, adding some. Uh, more interesting texture details to our model. Yeah, I decided to almost remove this darker thing. It's like not looking good to me. Yeah, also we can add this beveled thing on our parts too. And for all the surfaces, I'm trying to add this uh, gradients too like from darker to lighter and so on some polishing don't be scared to um, go over your mesh it's absolutely okay for that kind of style like paint so your texture details not alike as the mesh goes. And that way your mesh stays pretty low poly, but your texture make it look really cool and not that low poly. But actually it's okay if you're gonna do um, more police on the mesh. I think in our time it's really doesn't matter if your mesh like is uh, 200 police or 2k police. No one cared f at our time. Of course if this police like makes sense and you just uh, not uh, make something that doesn't make sense like subdivided for fun and this um, gray area around the rock this gonna be a grass pick the painted tomb a little bit of grass not too much because uh, I will have a separate room for the grass and dirt ground textures. So on this one, it will be just a small piece for just overall oak. Final things at this stage. And we're gonna jump on the next stage. Yeah, looks cool. And the next stage is adding the line arts. And the line arts is the darker lines, uh, damage details, and everything else that we paint with darker line. For now, we are adding some ambient harder lines around our rock structures that is kind a little bit separated from the main mesh so I'll just paint a small uh, 
so just paint this small line around your rocks and the cracks adding some random crack details don't go too crazy with this one just make sure you have some details and make sure they look so like the stone cracks adding a little bit more maybe some horizontal ones it works too just make sure there's not over too much of those correct details and scratches I also add some smaller rocks with the textures not by mesh because I feel it's kind of okay to paint it in the texture it's almost don't have a silhouette here so I add a couple here and there a bit more track details I think it very randomly also I thought it would be cool to have some scratches here it's just a random idea same as I paint uh, this cracks just very randomly and see if I like it or not and it's always good to have like different ones the smaller the bigger ones so there will be a difference in your lines and cracks you don't want to always paint to it like similar size brush for all details and polishing a little bit after I'm sure with all the things we painted we can do some polishing make them look more smoother and cleaner same for the scratches too what an animal could have these scratches what a mystery and just final ones here and don't be scared to test like different lines here and there now we're gonna add highlights it's um, lighter lines on the edges and we don't wanna them to look like shiny ones like the metal have just make sure you're not pushing too much values for it so yeah it's not like reflective ones and not uh, shiny ones like metals glass and other things of course sometimes you can have some reflective things like if we had some maybe fire somewhere somewhere close fireplace or something but it's also would be very soft a white reflective thing 
more like global elimination thing, not like reflection or gross effect. So yeah, adding those lines everywhere on the sides of our details and edges. Make sure they have like different opacity value thing. So not like straightforward one value aligns that will not look cool. Also different sizes and yeah, that will look cool. And it always good to like paint them with uh, very long lines, like not the pointy ones, so it will look more cleaner. The longer line you can paint. And this takes the practice and the time. If you are just starting, probably you're gonna paint very pointy shorter lines and things but with the time you will master it oh it looks now really cool with all these highlighted things and it's not the final stage we will make it look perfect And also make sure your like lines goes um, like on this side polygons policy. Yeah. You want like on the scratches too. You want to have your highlights only on one side of like scratch and uh, under details. Like with the um, imagination of uh, directional light or sun that hits there so we are not painting it with every side on any side here yeah. So sometimes I just add this additional like scratches thing on the edges for more um, bevel like effects on our stone. And polishing them a little bit for so the lines will be more cleaner. And also I decided to decrease a little bit the opacity of some places here. So they will be always eye-catching and always shiny. More like soft ones. stage is done and next step adding a new layer and getting some softer brush and we are painting some ambient occlusion around the rock in ground and where the rock meets the rock will give some more depth effect to our stone and clean it a little 
little bit so it will have very smooth transition gradient bit uh, under the rock so they will have some uh, more depth and like they are laying there not like inside the rock but drawing some shadow and have some depth and it's done and time for adding some grass make sure you choose the um, color similar like the main uh, grass color we have this uh, on the ground here and where we have the ambient paint that it will give some depth effect to our grass already and it will perfectly connect with the ground because it have the same color there and yeah, it's made on the new air of course and just paint something curvy some lines there's uh, a thousand ways uh, of the grass you can paint and the forms for it so it all works fine go maybe for bigger type of grass or longer whatever you want it's oh cool maybe even different uh, types of grass who knows it also works But it's cool when it goes like different directions randomly, not like in one direction. It will be very cartoony if you do like this. when we're done with this uh, first uh, pass on the grass I created another layer and I choose the darker color and very soft small brush and adding this um, grass silhouettes for more details and like it's uh, layering on each other there's uh, different techniques to paint it and today I decided to go like this and it's almost done I also adding some random shadows under it so it have some depth a little bit and choosing the razor tool raising it a little bit for better transition trans uh, for better softer trans transition adding some highlights a little bit a 
not on every grass, just randomly. So some grasses can be lighter, some darker. This grass is very random and have many colors in it and many values. And of course I want to paint some small plants, for now I'm painting the flowers, some random forms, it can be whatever you like, any flower works. And make sure that your flowers like um, have different forms, it's like not same size same forms they all grow differently and have like different sizes and different forms like some maybe smaller some bigger with uh, like two leaves or three leaves of course some shadow under it for depth effect and um, i decided to add some like most grass thingy on the rock to mix a little bit the colors on it it will be a similar uh, color like the grass and i painting it uh, on our first uh, layer of the grass so we we'll use for those same, same layers some reason I call it where's leaves that's a mistake it's all a grass and moss sorry for that so yeah I'm polishing with the razor to adjusting the forms uh, making this uh, silhouette like uh, it's a leaves uh, or some points also with like very random direction of everything and you kind of can place them whenever you want just make sure the composition looks cool and your eyes like it I bet every person will have different preferences in the sizes and placement of this most things Now we're gonna add a little bit depth on this um, moss grass thingy uh, with a softer, a lighter uh, color and brush. Just paint a little bit in the middle so it will have some depth, not fully flat surface. and under uh, all the grass wires I created another one for adding some ambient under these moss things now it reads really well And now I'm gonna add some details on this hour. Most think some leaves wanna wanna be things that goes from center to other directions, like from main circle detail. 
again same for this one this is our main form in the middle like very circle like and the leaves goes all around to other directions Now I'm adding some highlights on those small leaves too with more harder brush, semi soft, semi hard one. Let's eat for the most thing. I also started adding some darker grasses on backside of our first layer of the grass. Just here and there, a couple pieces of additional grass. And now I'm exporting everything to Photoshop to. I join all layers together and then make a folder with all the layers and just call it the save. Now I created one more layer under our uh, joined layer and call it, it color and we're gonna paint here. Also the upper layer is set on the um, lightness uh, blending mode. So it's been very fast in the video, but yeah, we set it on the lightness blending mode and under it we have a uh, layer where we are coloring. And for colors I have this color palette and you have it too, it will be in our discord and links uh, in the under the video description if you are still not in our discord for some reason. And I'm just adding different colors for it, uh, having some warm and some cold ones, cold ones for lower parts and darker areas, and more warm colors on the upper part, and also we have some gradient like from the front side to back side, like from uh, left to right warm colors to cold colors with some details painting this um, global illumination light information if it goes too fast you can like slow down the video and to see what colors I choose another layer for the grass put it on overlay because I could not get some nice results with um, previous layer for the grass I wanted more contrast grass so I created a new layer with the overlay I'm skipping a uh, process of painting all the grass because it's very similar and same for the moss I just paint this one and we'll do same for other ones just fill it with the color so yeah and I created another one layer put it on overlay choose it the soft brush and doing some darker transaction around the grass where it connects with and the stone yeah you see and just 
polishing it a little bit. Created two new layers for a lighter information and darker one. And lighter is uh, put on the color dodge and we choose the lighter color soft brush and go on the upper um, front um, faces make them more uh, lighter and having this gradient from left to right from upper to lower part and the darker colors on our overlay darker layer with the more cold one colors darker on over part and it have very nice colors now and values and of course we need to cover our flowers I want to make them bloom and our weight not working for it um, what the hard light on 55% works perfectly And if you want, you can choose whatever colors you think will do cool. And I want to add a bit more um, information this like flowers, more colors, something interesting. looks cool increase the opacity a little bit for it and increase it some brightness by going to textures adjustments and one more aware I want to add like more information more flowers on our dress texture also on the mouse whatever looks cool I like it maybe it looks like berries but probably it's a flower kind of stuff and some additional small plants with different color from the dress so it looks more cool and interesting paint it very randomly and fast adjust a pasty for it so they will not pump up too much uh, some shadows under it but it's, um, it's polishing that probably no one gonna see but it's there um, also adding some random like a light info for and grass so it will not be super flat and I went to Photoshop I join it once more time all the layers so it on standard blending layer now and I want to, to paint some final polishing on the normal layer without any like overlays hard, hard lights and so on so I'm painting on standard blend for final polishing polish this um, some lines here and there some incorrect things and small issues and adding like additional uh, details to the texture everything that we can polish making more like 
like uh, polish the lines some darker and depth effects under our faces here to look more interesting that way some random painting details and polish the rocks a little bit I want them have more depth yeah not like they don't I don't want them to be super flat so I did a bit lighter info and darker info so it more depth on it so they look like more like rocks not like uh, correct details and a little bit some more highlights on the grass and you can add maybe different um, colors for it somewhere place to place like maybe there's some dry grass or something and now I'm back to Photoshop to make some mask for our ground so I just paint it with the white color on additional channel I created like a channel and painting some mask and the dark color will be everything that goes on transparent and the white is like in the mask areas that will not have the transparent thing so we can cut our ground area with this mask and here is our final result I set the rendering in Marmoset with the mask oh my god what is on the back side it's not a rock it's a decoration it's not real haha <laughs> I gotcha and it looks like a rock on this side so yeah I hope you liked this tutorial and hit the subscribe button a like button join our discord and see you in the next videos bye bye